Welcome to Foglight Video Solutions. This video will detail the skip granting DB2 permissions checkbox. This video will cover how to skip the DB2 installer wizard grant DB2 permissions process. In the 5.9.7.20 and higher releases of the DB2 cartridge, a checkbox is available to skip the privileges grant process in the DB2 agent installer wizard. This functionality is useful for DB2 systems in which the DB2 user has sufficient privileges on one or more of the DB2 databases based on the permissions available through group membership. If a DB2 user and its group has insufficient privileges on all of the databases in the instance, the next button will remain disabled even when this new checkbox is used. If a DB2 user has sufficient privileges on any of the databases in the instance and that database is selected, Using the new skipped grant permissions checkbox will enable the next button to allow the installation to continue. To begin, log into the Foglight console. From the Global View Databases dashboard, add a new DB2 agent. Select the agent manager to add the DB2 agent to and click the next button. Click the set instance details link and fill in the connection details to the monitored host. Then click the Validate button. Once the validation completes, click the Next button to continue to the Test Connection panel. For this example, we will select only the Sales Database and click the Test Connection button. The connection test for the Sales Database will fail because the DBT user has insufficient privileges as itself on all of the databases, but has privileges on the sample database through group membership. Clicking the insufficient database privileges link displays a pop-up to grant the privileges through the UI. If we enable the new skip permissions checkbox and then click the relevant button, the next button at the bottom of the panel will remain grayed out. Let's now select all of the databases and repeat the test connection. Again, the test confirms that the DBT user has insufficient privileges as itself on all of the databases. Now, we'll click the link to open the grant privileges pop-up again and use the skipped permission checkbox and click the relevant button. This time, because the user has group privileges to the sample database and the sample databases among those selected, the next button becomes available. Click the next button. Since the connection has already been verified, click the next button again. Review the details for this new agent and click the Next button once again. The new DB2 agent is created. Upon seeing the confirmation page, click the Finish button. After a short time, the DB2 agent will appear in the GlobalView Databases dashboard, but there's no data for those databases where the user has neither user nor group privileges. To learn more about Foglife for databases, visit us at support.quest.com. For quick support questions, follow us at Quest Experts on Twitter.